battle with skin cancer. And this is what I'm now working with. Mm. All right, so this is where people are gonna pass a lot of judgment. It was there for two years. Two years. But in my defense, it's on the side of my nose and it sits, it sits exactly where the bendy part of the face mask is. I work in a federal prison. We've had to wear those masks day in and day out for two years. They're still mandatory. And um, I would think it would be healed and it would just pop back up. So for two years, I'm cussing these masks thinking, oh my God, these masks are, you know, driving me nuts and they're rubbing my nose off. Nope, that was the cancer. All right, so I have a cancer removal slash plastic surgery update. All that redness isn't supposed to be there. I ended up going to the ER last night and it's cellulitis, which is basically like a, a little infection under the skin and the tissue under the skin. So yeah, I'm feeling like Olivia Rodrigo level betrayal, but by my own face. My face is betraying me. I was feeling really good and I just wanted to get back to making my little YouTube video lessons. Like I have the dopest lesson on intro to fractions for parents so they can help their babies with fractions. And my face was like, calm down, calm down. Just go pick up these antibiotics. So that's what I'm doing. I guess I'm gonna straighten my crown and go in here and pick up these meds and keep on keeping on with this scar face. Cancer face update. I am 11 days post-op from my surgery, scar revision, and I couldn't be happier. Um, I accept the fact that my face will never be the face that it was before skin cancer. I can live with this one. He did a good job. Cancer face update. Had my full body cancer screening done today. Had to have a spot on my shoulder biopsy so cancer face could become cancer shoulder. I'll know in two weeks. Shout out to the badasses at Southeastern Dermatology in Tallahassee.